So let's talk hourly pay. And the reason why I pull myself away from hourly pay um, jobs and opportunities. I've seen a lot of people posting on Facebook um, looking for a job and they pretty much sometimes they post how much they're looking for and I've seen a lot of $13 an hour, $15 an hour, up to like $20 an hour. I've also seen people um, posting job opportunities where the pay is about $15 an hour, which is pretty much the average pay. That everybody's looking for right now let's look at the reality the minimum wage in the state of illinois it's ten dollars an hour now let's just say that your rent or your mortgage is about a thousand dollars a month okay now you have um utilities which is electricity um gas your gas bill um water bill you have your phone bill you also have um cable internet entertainment right like if you go to the movies i mean not right now but if you go out or it could be like you going out to do your nails, or do your hair, um, things like that, that are not really a necessity, but it's more like a want. Um, you also have memberships, right? You have a gym membership, you could have um, Netflix, Spotify, Hulu, um, Amazon Prime, whatever the case may be. You also have your car payment if you have a car and then you have, a, you have to have car insurance. So obviously everything adds up. Let's just say that your expenses are about $3,000 a month um, combined, right? That's not including like student loans, not it's not including your credit card payments, it's not including like if you have children, so all that stuff. So let's just say $3,000, okay? Now here's, here's um, the reality. All right, so let's just say that you get paid $15 an hour, right? If you are expecting to work 40 hours a week, this is pretty much the simple math that people do every time they they um, they get a job, right? If my job is gonna pay me $15 an hour and I'm gonna work 40 hours a week, I'm expecting about $600, right? But let's not forget the taxes are taken out. So in reality, you're, all, you're taking home $502. That's if you work the 40 hours. Most companies, especially right now, are not hiring for 40 hours. Um, they're pretty much hiring between like 20 to 35, uh, 20, 35 hours a week just because they're trying to obviously um, um, reduce their expenses. So now if you get paid $20 an hour and you work the 40 hours, you're expecting a $800 paycheck when in reality you're only getting in about $550, uh, $650, I'm sorry, a, a week that you take home. If you get paid now, if you get paid $25 an hour, you're expecting a paycheck for $1,000. But in reality, you're only taking home about $800. So where is that $200, right? Um, $30 an hour, would you want to get paid $30 an hour? That sounds really tempting and really good. But in reality, you're only making $958 instead of $1,200 a week. So it's not bad, but most companies are going to hire you to uh, and pay you $30 an hour if you have let's just say a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, and that's if you can find a job within your field that you obviously graduated on. So this is the reason why I pulled away from the hourly pay a long time ago, or even salary, because it was not fair for me or my family that a company would put a value on myself without even knowing me. I didn't think it was fair for management or a company to just think that I, I'm just worth $10 an hour or $15 an hour or even $20 an hour and the reality is that a lot of people feel like it's worth it's worth it but in reality it's not you have to understand your value the time that you put in the assets that you could bring and then you go from there and that's the reason why I became an entrepreneur because I like to provide opportunities not just for myself but for other people because I rather um, create more, more jobs than just have one job. So before you take your next step, think about what exactly you wanna you wanna do.